guys, today I'm over at my mother-in-law's house in her animal pen and I was collecting some elder flower because I ran out and the flowers are in bloom right now and I saw all sorts of herbs growing around me so I thought I'd make this quick video to show you guys um, some of the herbs I found. Um, so I'm actually over here by the edge of the road. This is the side of the animal pen that runs up next to the road and I saw some yarrow growing out of the ground. You can see the flowers are just starting to bloom on them. They have white little buds. And you can see the feathery leaves. That's how you can tell that it's yarrow. Well, those are a couple of ways. You can see how feathery they are. And the bloods, the blooms, the little buds, open up into white blooms later on. And then if you look down here at the base of the yarrow, you can see here are some big violet leaves. Um, earlier in the spring, they had little flowers on them and violets can be purple or white or yellow. And then if we keep going down this way, let's see, there's some plantain right there. Sorry, my shadow's getting in the way. This has been eaten by bugs. The plantain is an astringent. It's really good for drying things out and it's good for your skin. It's get like wounds and burns and things like that. That's plantain. And then if we scoot right over here, you can see dandelion leaves. And there are some little bitty ones, which wouldn't be too bitter right now. You can put these in your salad. You can make a bitter tonic to take for digestion. Let's see. And then further down here, I found some yellow dock. You can see the edges of the leaves are curly and it's got the main vein that runs up the back and the green stems. This is a little plant, but if it were big, it'd be really tall and bushy. Um, let's see what else is around here. That is all that I am recognizing right over here. There's some like clover and some different things like that. But if we go across the field, let me quickly walk over here. My mother-in-law has separated the field out to put the animals on one side and to leave this side open for the kids to play ball in. But there is horse and donkey do everywhere. So huh, they're not playing baseball over here just yet right now I'm over here collecting all these herbs I can find okay so we're gonna walk over here towards the baseball cage and in the field if I can step over all this grossness in the ground <laughs> um, you can see back here where it's nice and shady and wet there's like a little pond right there so this whole area is really wet and right above me is an elder tree you can see the flowers blooming I just harvested a bunch of flowers off here but I left all those on the top and they'll turn into nice pretty berries for the birds or for me if I get back to them in time and then below that you can see there's jewelweed everywhere so this is jewelweed I don't know if you can see it right there the leaves are super soft they feel kind of like skin um, and when this plant gets bigger closer to August it'll have these bright orange and sometimes yellow flowers depending upon the variety Right back in there, I think that's nettle. I can't really tell. It looks like it. I'm not going to get close enough to find out. But those are two herbs that I saw back here that I wanted to quickly take you around to see. And there's plantain on the ground, and there's violets over here too. A bunch of different things. But anyway, so this is just one example of just being somewhere where you're at all the time, and you may not notice the herbs that are growing around you, but they're actually everywhere, and I'm sure there are even more. You know, the more that I learn to recognize, the, the more I see around me wherever I go. So I just wanted to quickly take you guys over here and let you see all the different um, herbs. I think that was like six or seven that we found just in one spot that you can harvest and collect and use in your food or use in your medicine as you continue to learn about them.